Welcome back, surf fans, to Lower Trestles. We've got a heat for you at Tala Ferreira, John John Florence, Ricardo Christie. This is round one, heat number nine. Chris Cote here with Ross Williams. It is a skate park, though. It's just so much fun. It's a long ride, very user friendly. Well, we'll see how John John Florence uses this lower trestles right up, down. And uh, thankfully for John John, that wave just kind of ran off. Didn't really have much to offer, so no, uh, not a huge error. That wave wasn't going to give him massive scoring potential. But out the back, on the other hand, a set coming in. Looks like one of the bigger sets we've seen of the afternoon thus far. It's going to be surfer in red, Italo Ferreira. His backhand, deadly, lethal. Looking for the section. Goes for the float. Nice airdrop or airdrop off the back. And just kind of whipped it a little too hard. That was a surprising choice of maneuvers. It almost looked like I was gearing up to call a big backside air for Italo, but kind of stuck to that float. Airdrop wound up with a, an over whip, as they call it. He gives you no choice but to love him. He just absolutely goes ballistic for every uh, big maneuver. As soon as he has a section, he never surfs down. He always goes for broke. Um, so Italo, you know, he's winning a lot of fans on tour this year. Um, really fun to see how brave he is. Uh, he just goes for it. Check out the read here. Watch how high he gets and floats it to keep that speed up. This wave is really fast. Tricky line to read, and he, he did it perfectly, but then he just goes bananas. Watch him huck the board towards the channel. In that conversation and uh, kind of putting a stamp on the vote for Italo, and there's the quick whip we see from Ferreira. And again, just maybe over surfing a little bit on that second turn, but that wave kind of mushed out. Wasn't going to offer him much, so not a crazy error for Ferreira. Um, the man is not scared, and uh, it'll be very exciting to see what he has towards the back part of this year. Right now, it'll little Ferreira. Laser sharp, backside hooks to start off. Beautiful backside snap. And he blows the tail this time, fully controlled. Three beautiful, deadly turns from Italo Ferreira. Having a paddle, it is John John Florence. There you see the early coil on this wave, looking for the section. Goes into a big open face hack. Sets it up through to this inside. What does Mr. Florence have here? He blasts the tail, comes unstuck. But John John going down and looked like a little bit of a speed bump coming up through that wave, just knocking him off his board. Again, it's rare to see John John not pulling those layback hacks, but it happens. Having a paddle, it is John John Florence. There you see the early coil on this wave, looking for the section, goes into a big open face hack. Sets it up through to this inside. What does Mr. Florence have here? He blasts the tail, comes unstuck. But John John going down and looked like a little bit of a speed bump coming up through that wave, just knocking him off his board. Again, it's rare to see John John not pulling those layback hacks, but it happens. It's another one of those things. Like for, I think for John John, he, he really does feed off of momentum so if for him in the first few minutes of a heat if he captures a really nice wave and lands a big punt big error big carve it's game over uh, but if he has a slow start it can't catch him first look at ricardo christie nice stylish opening snap blows the tail grabs the rail and controls it gets right back around this section back onto the open face pumping down the line hoping for this thing to reform through the inside. It's not going to, so he is out. Solid opener for Christie. Almost didn't recognize him. He split his wig. He's got a, a new hairdo there. Here we go. Power nugget. It's a little Ferreira. Stocky goofy footer. Three clean snaps. You know, again, as I mentioned, a smaller wave. And the scores are, are about to drop, but uh, he made the most of it. And John John, all or nothing for him. You know, kind of a funky wave. It had that weird rip through it, and it was going the same pace as the wave. It sort of split it in half. Those are always really tough to read. And uh, he was trying to just flutter out there and do a big old fin release. But that wave was always going to be tough to surf. And then the big old Kiwi, looking fresh and clean and fast with a 
Goldilocks gone. And a pretty nice start there. I like that little fin finner with the rail grab. But unfortunately for Ricardo, that wave just fizzled. Yeah, that was a unique kind of maneuver. You don't see that very often. It's almost like he got stuck a little bit going backwards, but I like that he kind of made the grab. And as uh, Ricardo went, we had a wave from John John Lawrence. Looking pretty crisp. Better on this wave. You can see that wave had a, a better shape to it. Even though it was small, it had that nice coping. Pretty steep wall. And wow, that second maneuver. Nice little whippy carve. John John really uh, finding comfort in that maneuver. He goes to it quite often. Really, it's kind of trippy because he stands really tall. Uh, but it gives him leverage. I think that's comfortable for him to get far away from the deck of his board. You'll see a lot of guys like McFanning stay low and compressed, but not John John. He really likes to extend. Finish all three surfers now feeling that hunger in their bellies. And it's going to be Itala Ferreira on his backhand. Cranks it off the bottom. Nice opening hook under the lip. Hard off the top again. So fast. Ferreira on his fourth turn now, setting it up through to the inside, gets caught up in the white water, goes down right behind him. Ricardo Christie, nice opening gouge. There's another turn right under the lip. I like the way he placed that second turn. Now he gets on the open face. This is where he could generate just a few extra points if he's got a section on the inside. He's going to stick with it. This thing could have a good section at the end. One more little placement turn. Damn, a solid finisher for Ricardo Christie. That was uh, just kind of a medium-sized wave, and it, it didn't have that spectacular of a look to it, but he surfed the guts out of it. <laughs> uh, on the very inside there, so he had to wait for it, and it paid off. Nice finishing turn there. But Italo, clean surfing here. Two big maneuvers on the outside. A great third one. This is where he got a little greedy. He tried to go for two for one there and couldn't get that last maneuver in. So maybe he could have pulled it back just for one big closing finishing maneuver. Small mistake there for Italo, but a nice start. Big old hack. Two big fellows between John John and Ricardo. These guys really tall and uh, they can use that leverage to their advantage throwing a lot of spray. This is where the wave kind of hit that deep spot. You're going to see it just be a, a shoulder right here. So he's just going to go for a couple of cutbacks, one or two. And this is where the wave reforms on the rocks on the inside. And I like this. He needed to do something exciting to make the get the judge's attention. He just flared out a little bit. All those turns looked like they felt good, which, uh, you know, I, I like to see that. And here goes for uh, again. He's just sticking to his game, punching the lip. A couple turns out the back. Man, that turn looks good. For, uh, we were expecting a big backside whip. He gave it to us at the end. Now it looks like he's regained complete control over his surfboard. And he is currently in the lead with 7 minutes, 25 seconds to go. John John Florence, he's got a 3-0-7 and a 4-7. Here goes John John having a look out the back. He's going to stick with this wave. Big open face, wrapping cut back. Back into the white water. Cranks it off the bottom. Nice, smooth open face turn. Straight back up into the lip with a beautiful vertical snap to tail whipping reverse. Completes the ride, pulls out the back. There's a reason why whenever John John Florence stands up on a wave, everybody on the beach takes notice, that's for sure. The, the spark that he gets off his turns right here from Intelo. Watch the speed he generates from this. Zip. Pretty cool. And great timing, too. The pace he had on that wave was perfect. It never looked like he got there early or got there late. Every time he bottom turned, he was right in the money part of the wave. So uh, uh, to me, that's going to be an excellent score. The rails of the board up into the lip and disengaging the tail is just throwing more spray than anybody yeah. right now. He is so strong and, and more, maybe more than any surfer, his core. Uh, a lot of core strength from Italo. But let's watch this big old noodle whip carve right here. Love that little torque at the end of that turn. And then just to throw a little funk at you. Nice nose pick there. Again, you can see his front foot was all the way in the nose of the surfboard. Not many guys can pull that off. Yeah, a very subtle thing John John just did. He kind of gave it a little bit of an extra stand up right before he pulled out the back of that wave. Pretty solid. But now it'll get an 8 and a 7.9. Again, Ross, that's all power. We haven't seen an air yet from Italo Ferreira. That's what he's kind of become known for, but he's flipping the script now. 
going to the power, and it's working. But John John Florence now drops a 7-5. He's right back in it. He needs an 8-4. Well, speaking of power, we were about to have a look at a Tyler Ferreira. The size is perfect. You heard Kolohe talking about it. These guys are going to get after it. Out the back, Ricardo Christie's up on this thing. Ricardo Christie, a beautiful opening carve, throwing tons of spray. Another solid power turn for Ricardo. Now he's generating speed. He's eyeing this section. What's he got for us? This time's the front side air. Critical mistake on what was looking like a excellent scoring wave, but you saw he just had a bobble just as he was going up into that air section. Chris, this is a rookie. Uh, he looks like such a vet out there. Uh, he is just putting together a lot of wins. He's making it look so easy. Well, a big result here would really solidify his uh, bid for that Rookie of the Year title here in 2015. So there's your winner, Tala Ferreira.